first I thought it was kind of misleading, but uh, apparently, guys, Google is moving away from APKs on the Play Store, and we're going to talk about what that means, what it looks like, and how this can affect you. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So welcome back to the channel everyone triple m here and today i will be reading from the verge and as it says right there google is moving away from apks on their play store so if you're a streamer if you're someone that siloed your applications you know that it's really easy to work with apks you grab them from this device put them on that device and pretty much everything works as long as the, the APK is compatible. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on the whole situation and where I see this heading here in a little bit. But I'm going to read from the article. It is from The Verge. I'll go ahead and link the full article in the description. But as the title says, Google is moving away from APKs on their Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, starting in August, which, you know, currently that should be in effect, uh, Google will require that new play apps will have to be published using Android app bundle format. Google will require that new play apps will have to be published using the Android app bundle format or AAB. Your phone will still download apps as APKs, but the app bundles will create APKs that are optimized for your device. So on a Google page about Android app bundles, the company tells that potential improvement for the new format such as smaller app downloads for users but the format has a catch android app bundles are a format that only google play uses which could complicate redistribution so the timing for google's announcement also came just days after microsoft announced windows 11 which has the ability to let you sideload android apps as apks google switch to the app bundles may mean that there will be fewer apps available to run on microsoft's new operating system though you'll also be able to get android apps on windows 11 from the amazon app store so the requirement to use the android app bundles or aabs only applies to new apps so according to google existing apps are currently exempt as are private apps being published to manage google play store users the company says and if you're a developer planning to release a new app you only have a short time to make sure you're using a new format so definitely a lot to take in there uh, of course the big coincidence is that this was announced not long after microsoft announced windows 11 with capabilities to to install or sideload apks uh which you know you could naturally make that connection but what i think is going on guys and if you guys have been in the streaming world i'm not going to call it a community if you've been in the streaming world sideloading apks moving apps apks from device a to device b uh I think this is a further um, restriction or crackdown on the ability to sideload and move APKs. Yes, currently this is only affecting apps that, that are downloaded from the Google Play Store on the Google Play Store. But also remember that most of the times when you're sideloading applications, they're being pulled from another device that has that application that was legitimately downloaded from the Google Play Store. So if that format changes, that could bring some issues as well. It's only a matter of time before we see devices that comes out with, with certain requirements or new updates being pushed that kind of squeeze it a little bit more. And what I I think eventually is going to happen is the ability to sideload apks is going to be an issue guys i think this is probably one of the first step into getting rid of apks because as we know working with apks guys it's so easy to drop the apk there and install it and i think they're actually trying to squeeze it a little bit more crack down more and just make it harder to, to sideload third-party applications to to install apps to move apps from device to device so that's my take on it don't buy that microsoft angle for one bit but drop your thoughts in the comments let me know what you think this is definitely something that we uh, need to keep an eye on because i do feel like this could affect a lot of us in the future that's it for this video don't forget to like share, and subscribe smash the thumbs up thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one